guys welcome to my channel my name is Samantha Izundu if you are new here and today I'm actually doing a video <sighs> one of you guys just asked me what my favorite foundations were and I was like I started writing them out I was like oh my god I have so many favorite foundations and if you don't know me if you're new here I love foundations I have an abundance of foundation I love foundation concealer and lipstick those are like my favorite makeup items so I thought I would collate all my favorites and categorize them into three categories light medium and full coverage and we can just talk about my favorite foundations I don't know how long this video is gonna be I'm hoping only 10 minutes <laughs> but knowing me it's probably gonna be 30 I'm a lover of just good makeup I don't I mean, I do care if it's expensive, but if it's really good, I will pay for it. And I also love drugstores. So I'm someone that will buy makeup that I think is good and worth my coin. I don't really focus on one high end or drugstore. I do a mixture of everything. Um, if you don't know, I work at a major makeup retailer in Australia. So I do get some free makeup, but only two of them I got for free. And one of them I had previously bought finish the whole thing and then I got another one for free. So technically I paid for it first. <laughs> okay, let's start with light foundations. I am gonna do a little bit of swatching because I love a good swatch. Um, the first one is my NARS tint, Pure Radiant Tint and Moisturizer. It is so beat up. I have one, maybe two uses left. Every time I think I'm at the end, a little bit more comes out. Um, and you don't need a lot of this. Uh, a little bit spreads out really well. This is uh, the shade Terra Nuve Light Zero, which is a really good shade for me. This is my favorite ever tinted moisturizer. This is, I'm gonna actually, I got this one for free, but I am gonna buy this because it's my favorite tinted moisturizer. And I've been kind of going through my tinted moisturizers. I find them much easier to pan because I use them more on a daily basis. Uh, but yeah, this is my favorite. It's really nice and radiant. It's probably got more coverage than your average tinted moisturizer. It's not a medium by any means, but it's definitely more like a light foundation in my, in my opinion. So when someone comes into work and they say they want a tinted moisturizer, but they do want a little bit of coverage, this is what I recommend. It looks beautiful on everyone's skin in my opinion, but it is glowy. So if you're quite oily, you probably wouldn't enjoy it, but it is such a beautiful tint of moisturizer. And it's probably, it's got, you get 50 mils, you get a lot. Standard is 30 for a foundation. So there's a lot of product in here and you do pay about $80. So it is expensive, but you are getting 20 mil more than average. Then I have my Cossus Tinted Face Oil. I love this one for really light coverage. So this is gonna give you glow with a tint. It's not a lot of coverage. Um, you have to shake it because it's an oil and you gotta mix the pigment. I have the shade two, which is good for me. One would be a bit too light. This is very runny, so I just put a little bit on. Probably won't be able to see much of my swatching because it's supposed to be, um, if it's a good shade, it'll match me. Um, but this is definitely oil. Like, if you don't like oil on your face, steer clear of this. This is a very much love or hate product. I love it because I have, oh, I forgot to mention my skin type it's very important it's very important to understand my skin type with these foundations and why they're my favorite i have pretty normal skin but i do lean to the dry i am naturally dry but i have become more normal as i've taken care of my skin um so i do prefer products that are suited to more drier skin types but in saying that, I do have a couple of more matte products in here as well. So I do have a variety. Um, but that is why I love this tinted voice, tinted oil, sorry, is it is, uh, if I want a bit of a glow, but I want minimal, minimal makeup, I can just pop this on and I will probably put it on with, what I'm wearing today is my Nude Sticks All Over Color in Sunkissed. And it's just, it gives a little bit of color to your face when you don't want a lot of makeup. So I really recommend this if you like oil type products and you like something very light coverage. This is really nice. Um, and then oh, let me swatch my NARS. I don't even know if anything's going to come out. I mean, you can already kind of see that this actually has more coverage than this. See how this kind of disappears? 
This has that little bit more coverage, but it's still, still light. And then my last, I only have three light that I really love. This is the Morphe 2. This is quite similar to the Cossus in that it's very runny. And I want to say it's oil based. I'm not 100% sure though. This is, can, this is the Hint Hint Skin Tint. I have the shade Hint of Marshmallow, which is a fair neutral shade. Oh my God, I forgot to mention my, my shade, my undertone. I'm very neutral. I'm very neutral. So with that, I can swing a little bit pink, swing a little bit yellow, but I am quite neutral. This is a sheer to medium coverage. I would consider it a light coverage. Maybe buildable to medium, but I consider it light. This also needs a shake, because it's very runny and you've got to mix the pigment. So you can just see, it's very runny. And this is a lot more pink than the other two, actually. So there is that one there, and it just looks beautiful on the skin. I will put the prices on the, I mean, you will already said, I'll put the prices on the screen so you can see, but I think this goes for like, it's under $20. I wanna say it's $18, but this one is just, it just looks beautiful on the skin. It looks really glowy, light. It looks like your skin, but enhanced. So if you're looking for an affordable option compared to this, I would say this is really, really nice. Let's go into medium coverage. Now I have four medium and then I have four full coverage, but I wanna say, no, I have five full coverage, but two of them are borderline medium. But I put them in full because I consider them, they lean a little bit more full. So we've got four medium and medium coverage is my preferred foundation uh, coverage level. Uh, but like I said, I have two in the full coverage that a very borderline um, but for me if it fully covers my freckles then I consider it full coverage but if I can still see it peeking through then I consider it medium coverage that's how I deem it all right so let's go with uh, two of these are cheapest chips the first one is the OXX bloom this is the color perfect foundation they have a few different ones in the OXX bloom range I think this is being discontinued. I just checked online and I went into Kmart a few weeks ago. I want to say two weeks ago and there was no XX Bloom anymore. They took it away and filled it with more OXX Studio products and lashes and stuff. And then I've just had a look online and this is on clearance for $2. I got ripped off. This was originally $7. I bought it for $3 and I was losing my SHIT over it. But now it's $2 on clearance. So if you want this, I will link here my video of trying on my the OXX range from Kmart. And I, this is the foundation I used and it was my probably my favorite product that I used. It is absolutely amazing. So if you wanna see how that applies, check that video out. And if you wanna get it, it's $2 right now online. I don't know if it's in store, but get it. If you are my shade twin, I got the shade 01 Porcelain and it was a really nice shade. And the bottle is like um, MAC face and body. It is so good. And you get 30, it doesn't say, but I'm gonna say it's 30. So there is what it looks like. And it's a, I would say it's a medium coverage. It, it's a natural finish. It's not matte, it's not dewy. It just looks like your skin, but perfect. $2, just go get it. It's on clearance. Just, just do me a favor and just go get it. So yeah, I highly recommend it. I haven't tried the other ones, but I don't think I will if it's going discontinued now. Um, but ugh, I could just do the whole video on this, honestly. All right, next we have my second cheapest and it's still under $5. Well, I bought it under $5. I wonder how much it actually goes for, let me check. Okay, so this, I bought mine at Woolworths. This is the makeup design or mud. They call themselves Flawless Finish Foundation. I got the shade Ivory, and this is very similar to this, actually. I would say this is a little bit more luminous, a little bit more dewy than this, um, but very similar in the way it just made your skin look perfect. It's my first impression of this. I'll, I'll link the video where I, I tried this. It's only recent that I tried this. This is my newest foundation, actually, um, but I just, it was love at first sight. It wore really well as well. Oh, I don't know. So this, I bought mine at Woolies. I bought mine for $4 on sale, but their full price is $5.50, but on the, at Woolworths, and then on their website, it's $6. So even full price, she's a bargain. 
It looks absolutely stunning on the skin. This is a really good shade match for me. You can't really see. I don't know why I'm swatching. You can't even. That's a see. That's a good shade match for me. You can't even see it. Um, but I just love the way that this looks. So yeah, if I have this uh, reviews of any foundations that I am talking about, I will card them. But they also, when I card them, they now as a YouTube update are uh, linked down below if you're on your mobile. Um, so check that out if you want to see how they apply. But I did use this recently in a video, and I've used. I've used pretty much all of these in videos, but some of them, like, this is a while ago I used this. I don't know if I can find the video where I use this. Because I often use things in, like, try new makeup. Only sometimes do I do a dedicated review. But I'll link it down below and let you know either way. So, yeah, I highly recommend this. Just a dewy, it's oh, natural, slightly dewy, very slightly. Absolutely beautiful. These are just really nice and easy foundations if you just want perfected skin that looks natural and you don't want um, anything that's dewy or matte. You don't want a specific finish. You just want it to look like your skin. And I love those for every day. So I highly recommend those. All right, I'm just naturally going in order of price. <laughs> Next we have the Designer Brands Luminous Hydrating Foundation from DB Cosmetics or De Designer Brands Cosmetics, either or. I have the shade 801 Porcelain Ivory. This is a very good shade match for me as well. Very neutral. See, I consider this quite a neutral and you can really see this one. This has got more coverage. We're starting to get heavier coverage now, which means you can see it better. And this is a really good shade for me. It's not too pink like some of the other ones are. Some neutrals I find lean a little pink, but this is luminous with good coverage, medium coverage. There's SPF for 15. Hydrating and dewy formula brightens an even skin tone for a luminous radiant finish. I, it has peptide infusion, vitamin C and E, aloe vera extract. Um, this is such a beautiful foundation. If you're Australian, get on this. This is Australian. Actually, all three of these are Australian. Go me. I do love an Australian makeup product I'm not gonna lie this is something I'll go out in if I want to look dewy and fresh and I know that this is like something I go to when I need a guaranteed good makeup application this is a safety net for me it's reliable it always looks good and glowy and makes my skin look healthy and then lastly I have the hourglass illusion hyaluronic skin tint this is called a skin tint but to me, it's light to medium coverage. So this has an SPF of 15, and I recommend this to mature skin because it has hyaluronic acid in it, and it just, it's got a plumping effect from the hyaluronic acid. When I wear this, it's, it's a hard one to sell because it's expensive, and it's got a really thick consistency, but it looks so good on the skin. This is the shade Shell. A little bit too pink for me but I also have the shade ivory which is my better shade match it's a little bit dark but I prefer it to this this is just leans a little bit pink if I'm honest I'm in between shell and ivory but there is a really bad shade range for this because it's a skin tint but it's not it's like medium coverage and you can even see it in the swatch like there's coverage there it has a luminosity without it being dewy it is a natural finish with a radiance to it um, and it it has a thick consistency, but my god My skin looks good when I wear it now. This is the kind of product that can cling on to dry patches um, When I had drier skin, I didn't love it as much now that I have more normal skin. I, I die for it It's amazing if you're wanting to invest in a really nice product and it's really travel friendly It's small and you still get 30 mils um, I would definitely recommend this even drop into Mecca and get a sample of this. Get color matched and get a sample. See if you like it. And I always recommend that with foundation. Sephora and Mecca, I don't know about, I don't think Priceline does it. Get a sample because it's gonna take more effort to go back if you can get into a store, I should say. But it is worth getting a sample. I think you can ask for samples in online orders if you email customer service. For Mecca, at least, I think you can. If you email customer service and ask for foundation samples, but you pick the colors, I think they'll add it to your order. I think. Don't quote me on it, but you know, Mecca is all about customer service. 
and they would rather you try a sample and if it's not right then get the right color rather than open a whole product and waste the whole product because once it's opened and used you can't resell it so they would rather you get a sample get the right color and then buy the right product then buy the wrong product and return it and then lastly I have full coverage my true full coverage foundation is NARS this is the soft matte complete foundation I am very much a Mont Blanc light too it is a fair to light neutral shade um, and I will swatch it for you because the good thing about NARS is they have lots of foundations. They're all the same color. Actually, that's not true. The tinted moisturizers are different colors. I think that's um, because they originally didn't have many shades, but they have since extended their shade range. So here is Mont Blanc, very true neutral. I just realized I want to give an honorable mention. I say honorable mention because I don't have it with me. The NARS Radiant Longwear is actually like my favorite foundation but I don't have it. But I've just kind of been telling myself, stop buying foundations that are not new and you want to review because I need to finish some. Like, But I want to repurchase this and I want to repurchase the NARS Radiant Longwear. God, that's just, NARS are so good. I don't really love Sheer Glow, but everyone else does. So maybe it's just my skin chemistry. I don't know. It just looks very flattened, cakey on my skin. But I love the new Soft Matte. This is my going out foundation. I don't wear this on a daily basis. <laughs> this is my long wear go out. I want uh, to look flawless. Like if I'm trying to look, maybe look a little bit more vintage, glamour looking, I will go for this. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, next we have um, my last Australian foundation. This is the Mecca Max. This is finished, but I still have the product. This is the, um, God, I can't even read it anymore. Uh, I think it's called Selfie Skin 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I have the shade LC3 Cream, which is more of a cool tone. It's a little bit, it's a little bit on the pinker side because it's cool tone, but it still works for me. And I would consider this a medium buildable to full. It's definitely on the lower side of full, but it's a full coverage still. It's just still a full coverage. And uh, this retails, I'll, I'll check the price and I'll put it here. But this retails, I want to say $28. It's under $30. It's a good price. It's a good foundation. You get, I don't know, it looks like 30 mils. Um, it is such a good foundation if you want something more affordable. Uh, Mecca Max, they have another foundation, but this is the Selfie Skin in the tube. It is so good. It, every time I wear it, I honestly get compliments and I'm like, it's Mecca Max, guys. Um, the shade range is not huge, I wanna say. Um, their other foundation is a much better shade range, um, but I highly recommend this. It is just like a natural with a slight radiance to it, uh, similar to the next one I'm gonna talk about actually. Um, similar price range as well. So I highly recommend this if you want to try Mecca Max. Um, I rave about it all the time to the point where I finished it. And I love it. Like all of these I would love to repurchase, but I've honestly got so many foundations. I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> but if I didn't have a million foundations, I would definitely repurchase that. The next one I want to talk about that is similar to the Selfie Skin is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. I have the shade 20 Ivory. This is relatively new to me. I wanna say this is this is looking a little pinky. Oh, no, it's quite neutral. No, no, that's pretty neutral. Um, this to me is more on the full coverage side, medium to full coverage. Um, I would say it says fresh wear, but to me, it definitely has a radiance to it, but it's not heavily dewy. Um, so keep that in mind. And maybe if you are more oilier skinned, it might be um, more dewy on you because you are naturally got a dew already. But for me, it's more of a natural with a luminosity to it. And it's really, really nice. And L'Oreal, always on sale. Don't pay full price for this. I have not had this for too long. I'm pretty new to it, but um, I really, really enjoy it. It's a really good uh, coverage foundation if you are looking for drugstore. And often drugstore is a lot easier for you guys to get some of you are regional which I totally understand it's not easy to get to Sephora or Mecca and get a shade match and I totally understand that so for that reason 
Um, I do have some drugstore options and they are easier to access, especially Woolworths and Kmart. Everyone's got a Woolworths and Kmart, don't they? Okay, we've only got two left. We have my Ciate Extraordinary Foundation. Is this still for sale at Mecca? I don't know. I know Ciate isn't what they used to be at Mecca. Oh yeah, it's still there. We used to sell this at work and they took it off the shelves. And I don't know why, because we used to sell this to everyone. You know what people want? They want good coverage, but they still want a luminosity to their skin. And this is it. This is the one that we would all recommend at work because it looks beautiful on so many skin types. And especially as you mature, your skin gets naturally drier. And so people are coming in and they're saying, my skin is dry and I don't know what's going on. It's just that sometimes it's just a natural course of aging. Sorry, I know it's not easy to hear, but it is a reality. Um, so we always recommend a good moisturizer and exfoliator, but for people who don't want to do that, they want to skip the skincare and just have a good foundation, this is really, really nice. So I have the shade 101N Porcelain, which is neutral, and it is such a nice, nice shade. So, I mean, I'm showing you the swatches, but this to me is a medium to full coverage, medium buildable to full. It's a little bit pricier than the other ones I've mentioned, but how many mils do you get? You get 50 mils. That's huge. That's 20 mils more than your standard. Consider that into the price as well. Oh my God. This is great. It's got good um, longevity, but also looks nice and radiant. And then last but not least, is she's new to my collection. She was very hard to find. I found her on ASOS. So this is the Born to Glow Radiant, Naturally Radiant Foundation. I, 30 mils, I got the shade Alabaster. And this is just, it looks so beautiful. It really does. It's a natural finish to me with a little bit of radiance. This is gonna be a better color for me in winter. It is slightly light, but I couldn't, I didn't know what shade I was gonna be because it was on ASOS and they didn't explain the shades. It was just pick a shade and I was like, oh, I guess I look a little bit alabaster, so I'll pick that. So you can just see compared to the other ones, it has a little bit more whiteness to it. So I'm gonna, this is better in for me to use in winter. I'm wearing it today and I've just mixed it with another one that has a little bit more depth, a little bit more color to it. Um, but I use this as the majority and it's just beautiful. So I have cream highlighter on, that's what that glow is. But if you look down here, I've got no powder or product other than foundation here. And it just looks so natural but we've got coverage. And I wanna say it's a pretty full coverage. I would say medium to full, but when I was putting that sponge on, everything was disappearing. So you really can't see much of my freckles, but it just looks beautiful. So if you really want this, I could only find it at ASOS. I don't know if it's still in stock. If it is, I'll link it down below. Um, the shade range was not there. I think I was pretty lucky to get this and I searched, I searched for this and I could not find a light shade. I could find darker shades, but I couldn't find a light shade. So I mentioned this, but it is hard to get if you can get it. Otherwise I think it's discontinued. So that is everything guys. I had one, two, 12 foundations we talked. And that's not even half of what I own, but these are my absolute favorites. There are many others that I really, really like. But these are my favorites for reasons I've just told you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know, do you want me to do concealer? Cause I also am a fiend for concealers. I think I need to start doing some favorites. I never do favorites videos. I've always like in the past thought, no one really cares what I think, do they? <laughs> do people care what my favorite products are? Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.